came up so fast, everything was underwater before I could get it cleared out. My name is Steve Koloff. We built the house in 1991, so we've been here for 30 years. We're in Northwest Citrus County. We had several big storms that came through, dumped a lot of rain. And eventually it just overcame the dam I had on the garage, got into the laundry room, and ultimately the house and the sunroom. It's frustrating, and it actually kind of makes me mad sometimes if I think about it. This summer, Citrus County received record rainfall, the most rainfall we've seen potentially ever since we've been recording rainfall in Citrus County. I'm Dr. Mark Fulkerson, and I'm a Chief Professional Engineer with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. All the rainfall this summer has caused record flooding throughout the entire county. We have seen water rise in areas higher than we've seen in decades. Because of the widespread flooding that occurred this summer, we did conduct a venture where we got a single wing plane up in the air to collect very high resolution flood imagery so that we could map the extents of the flooding. The stories are heartbreaking. We definitely have enough damage here that we could declare a local state of emergency. I'm Amanda Woodward and I am the Director of Emergency Management for Citrus County. This is an incredible resource that the county has and because the Water Management District's team have been out all summer long looking at areas that have not flooded in the past and what we can do coming up with solutions, I believe that we can probably help prevent some of this in the future. When events like this occur, our staff coordinate with staff from Citrus County. We share information, we get out into areas that are flooding to try to interact with the public, to help the public understand what's occurring, why it's occurring, and to, to try to look for solutions whenever possible. My name is Nam Nguyen, I'm a senior professional engineer. We're out here collecting the high water marks from the flooding. We are using this information to help us verify the flood modeling that we are studying out in this area. Having the high resolution imagery um, will, will definitely help us out tremendously. We're hoping that with this large area flood imagery, we'll be able to use it to verify the modeling information and modeling results. Once the computer model is done, we can share this flood risk information with the public. Most of the areas flooded in Citrus County this year are in closed basins, which means these are isolated low areas with high ground all around them, and the water has nowhere to naturally drain. The water level in the lake is six feet higher than this water level. I think just having a presence out in areas like this when this flooding occurs is super important to the residents that live here. Being able to interact with them, to, to give them information, to, to give them someone that they can talk to, that they can listen to what they're going through, I think means a lot. Well, I'm encouraged. You know, I'm encouraged now that there's an awareness. Nobody wants to see people impacted by flooding and nobody wants to see the frustration and what folks go through when they're impacted by high water like this. And flood insurance, we got, you know, once we get uh, water out of the house, we can start looking at recovery. We're lucky that, that my wife actually thought about that and actually got that some time ago. We try to do everything we can to prevent things like this from happening and a lot of that is education and updating the flood maps so future folks understand the flood risk.